welcome back to my channel and to another dust and discuss video and to a little rant <laughs> video that uh, I have prepared <laughs> for today um, so I got my brushes here and I have some of my figures here and uh, I'm just gonna get right into it today's topic is <laughs> nendroids and not just any nendroids these two nendroids so um if you know you know the issue going on with these guys with um vanitas and noe's figures um if you don't know welcome you're gonna find out what's going on with these guys and you're also gonna hear me complain <laughs> so if you like these kind of videos make sure you like and subscribe and uh, tell me your thoughts about the situation in the comments whether you did uh, pre-order these guys or you didn't um, yeah let me know because I would love to know so if you don't know what's going on with these guys pre-orders went up I'll put the date the pre-orders went up over here pre-orders went up on Ami Ami and other figure collecting sites and right away Ami Ami's like within I don't know how many minutes I never made it to the pre-orders unfortunately on Ami Ami I missed it uh, but I heard within like seconds minutes I don't know uh, pre-orders closed because I guess Ami Ami received a huge number of orders for them and you know they closed they, they closed off their pre-orders and then I heard like uh, like a few hours later they opened it up for a few seconds or minutes and then closed it again so I missed the pre-orders for them as well as many other people did and so I decided to go to a different figure uh, company site that had pre-orders open for them as did my, many other people did people went to Hobby Link Japan people went to Solaris uh, people went to Nin Nin people people just went to a lot of I think not uh, right stuff anime maybe I don't know um, a lot of people went to different uh, websites that they typically even don't necessarily pre-order from before just to get these figures and pre-order them there because they missed the Ami Ami's um, pre-orders also just as a note good smiles US company or US website weren't selling these figures uh, didn't have them up for pre-orders or anything so if you I think if you wanted to buy them from Good Smiles uh, website you would have to do it from the Japanese website and I think in order to do that in order to do that um, you need a proxy I went to Hobby Link Japan which I have never ordered from and but I heard they're trustworthy when it comes to uh, having their figure shipped and whatnot so I pre-ordered my figures from there a lot of other people did as well and a couple days later not a couple days maybe like a day later <laughs> um i received an email as did a lot of other people who ordered from that site uh stating that they can't guarantee my pre-order or other people's pre-orders because they're low in stock uh yada 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 uh i unless there's like a huge miracle that a bunch of people canceled their pre-orders highly unlikely so they can't guarantee my mine and other people's pre-orders i didn't cancel my hobby link japan order i just left it and i went to solaris japan as like a second option a just in case and their pre-orders were still open so i pre-ordered from them now keep in mind <laughs> hobby link japan and solaris both demand pre um both demand payment up front. So with Ami Ami, if you pre-order from them, you don't pay until the figure is actually released and, and you pay for the figure and the shipping all together at once. So um, Solaris Japan and Hobby Link Japan all demand payment up front for both the figure and the shipping, which mind you, they're more expensive. So I ordered from Solaris Japan as like a backup plan, a plan B, just in case. After I placed my order, cause I wanted to place my order first before like, I thought it was gonna close like any minute. So I'm like, okay, let me place my order and then email them. So I placed my order with Solaris Japan and then emailed them right away asking and letting them know my situation with Hobby Link. <gasps> oh. 
and letting them know my situation with Hobby Link. And I was just asking them if, you know, I was gonna have the same problem with them where like, yeah, you can place a pre-order, but they're, they're really low in stock and they're not like, they can't guarantee my figure. Lo and behold, the next morning I got an email from Solaris saying that they are having the same issue. Now my issue with this is transparency. How is it that you are low in stock? <laughs> I'm like, mm. how is it that you are low in stock? And you, I feel like such a freaking Karen right now, but oh, I am actually heated about this. How are you low in stock and your pre-orders are still open? Like, I don't understand that. Like, Ami Ami closed their pre-orders right away when they knew that they didn't have enough. And, okay. So, I screenshotted this, I screenshotted this email and posted it under, I think it was, I want to say it was Vanitas's um, figure page on my figure collection. And just to let, let other people know that are trying to get this pre-order, who were trying to order from Solaris Japan too, like... You know, I don't want to give them false hope or anything, and I just want to let them know, like, what the situation is, because Solar's Japan wasn't being transparent about it. So I screenshotted the email, and I posted it on one of the characters, um, my figure collection page. Someone said they got the same email, and when they were trying to ask Solaris, like, a little bit more questions about it, they stopped answering them all together. That's a different issue. Um, but... <laughs> Right when I posted that screenshot of the email that I got saying that they couldn't guarantee and they are low in stock and they can't give everybody a um, figure or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. Solaris, oh my God. Solaris makes a post under the same page, uh, the characters pages, advertising that they have pre-orders open for the characters. what how are you advertising that you have pre-orders open when you don't have enough figures like make that make sense dude and i don't know why there's such a low like this is a whole another issue like let me just finish this this issue first and then we'll move on but like what what is with this lack of transparency why are you advertising something you don't have you know, I still didn't cancel my order for uh, Solaris or Hobby Link Japan. Just like I have this like small, small ray of hope that I'm going to be able to get get these figures from either website, but I'm probably not. And a lot of people are probably going to have to pay people who resell it on eBay or whatnot, unless by another miracle, they make more stock of these figures because moving on to my next issue why i don't i don't know why i don't know why good smile didn't make enough of these figures or was it that they did make enough but they didn't anticipate that it would i, I don't know i don't know why i don't i don't know i don't know i feel like they didn't have they didn't make as much stock as they would have for other figures of all my time figure collecting i have never experienced this and this is another issue i feel like figure companies are taking advantage of the fact that anime is so popular right now that they're raising their prices so like ridiculously high um and the prices aren't even justified for the type of figure that they are and with that i ask if you know that anime is like so popular right now than it was before would it not make sense to like order more stock you're literally taking advantage of the fact that Anime is popular with your prices, so why not order more stock? Make it make sense. Now I just know that, like if resellers weren't going to like already up their prices really high, now they really are. Like they're gonna even double what, what they would have priced the figures at because you know, now they're gonna take advantage of the fact that this figure is like so wanted and like these companies are having issues with even like having them in stock and stuff like that and now they're gonna up their prices even more than they would have had they not had this issue if if that makes sense if you were able to get a hold of these pre-orders which i guess i guess is really too early to say you probably just think you you have a secured pre-order but you might get an email later hope not i hope you get your figures 
Um, but if you have a secured pre-order, let me know. I need to know for research purposes. I'm upset about this, so I'm gonna uh, stop recording and go cry about it some more. So if you like this video, <laughs> please like, subscribe, comment again, um, and I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon, and hopefully by then I will have my figures. Bye-bye, guys.